Hi there, Robert here, owner of a portfolio of eight businesses in different sectors all across the world, operating at seven figures a year. I want to talk to you today about productivity. How can you get more done? I have this conversation many times with other entrepreneurs that find it difficult to run even one business or other professionals that say, oh, I have a team. I can barely manage these six people. How are you managing a hundred people across 14 different time zones and still writing a book and still being healthy, you know, doing the workouts and so on and so on. There is no secret. I can tell you anything today in this video. I'm going to give you very quickly a few things that have helped me so, so much. Number one is the Ivy Lee method. I wrote a little ebook on it if you want to email me and ask for it. So the Ivy Lee method basically says that you should write down everything you need to do or you want to do and then order those in order of priority, right? What's most important, put that first. Not urgent, important. What's most important, you, if you do this, this moves the needle most in your business. Again, we're not talking about urgent, like you have to reply to this one guy that didn't even buy from you yet. Not urgent, but important. What will take your business forward? And not also, I'm not telling you to ignore if you have your bills to pay or your taxes to pay this week, <laughs> your taxes this week, don't get the fine, a penalty from the government, right? But again, focus on the more important. Learn to d distinguish, learn to prioritize. Basically. The moment you learn to prioritize, you have step one, step two, step three, whatever. Do your work in order of your priority priority in order don't look at your entire priorities list of 20 things and then do point seven and point um, 13 and then point no no number one you prioritize it's already in order of priority you have nothing to say about it you decided on the priority so stick to your priority right number one is the most important priority i've already made that decision let me do number one until it's done when i'm done with number one i might have a shift in priorities but then i still i have a new number one then again i focus on my number one priority and when i'm done with that again i focus because the if you cross number one off number two becomes your new number one so you're always focusing on your number one priority always this is the highest bit of information the highest the most important thing about productivity if you always work on your most important highest priority thing that will move the needle in your business right posting on social media isn't your highest priority right for example maybe i don't know maybe it is maybe for you it is whatever whatever drives the needle for forward for you that's what you need to do in most cases for example the posting itself on social media is the least of the priority the highest priority for example can be to create an amazing piece of content and then once it's posted to then distribute that piece of content to people that might actually find value in listening to it right those are already higher priorities just posting it isn't you know prior that i'm not saying you shouldn't do that do it if you can delegate to someone else do it yourself right and then focus on whatever is highest priority that's how you should look at your tasks focus on your highest priority do those first and the moment you think in that manner, you don't do number two until you finish number one. You don't do number three until you finish number two. You don't do number four until you finish number three. Your productivity will skyrocket because you will become something that almost no one is, which is focused. You'll work on the things that actually matter, that actually leave a dent, make a positive impact. So that's what I recommend. That's what I think you should work on. Number two, love your craft. Elon Musk was asked, what's one bit of advice you can say to motivate other people on their journey? And his answer was, well, if you need any kind of eternal motivation to do what you do, maybe you're not doing what you should be doing. Think about that for a second. Maybe you're not doing what you should be doing. I'm not telling you to quit your job. I'm not telling you to start another business. I'm telling you, look at what you're actually doing and look at how you can enjoy what you are doing, right? If you're a writer, learn to find enjoyment in your craft. The, the craft itself needs to be enjoyable for you if i'm a developer figuring out solution building the features doing what i need to do that should be enjoyable for me i shouldn't need exterior motivation i should think about it at 9 p.m when i'm in in bed or 11 p.m whatever when i'm in bed i'm like how did i finish what do i need to do what's what's something i didn't think that's what people that love their craft do that's why they are so successful they don't need motivation they don't need to watch a pump up video every morning <laughs> to get them to do stuff that's not the point what's the point right the point is to do things that you actually want to do if you don't want to check your inbox find someone that loves you know organizing stuff right there are so many people out there if you love organizing stuff but can't be bothered to come up with new ideas pay someone to come up with ideas or ask a friend what do you think i should do here do stuff you're actually good at and you can actually you know progress and progress and become better and better right number three is modeling the masters i picked this up from tony robbins great guy as far as i can tell in terms of the principle is someone has already achieved what you want to achieve. Learn from them. Learn from them. 
email them, message them, talk to them, check out their content, do whatever you need to do to learn, 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 pick up the skills from them, become better. This will help you move so much faster because they had to figure that stuff out. Now you don't need to figure it out. You already have the answer. You can just follow their advice and then be there. So that's what I recommend. Learn from others. I don't mean you need to copy them. I mean, look at them and say, okay, this is how they write. Why do they write like that? Like what did, what did they find that work? Again, ask them, look at people that analyze someone else's work or whatever and learn from that. We, for example, in one of our channels, we are leaders in anything that has to do with uh, cold outreach and business to business lead generation and marketing and so on in one of our entities in the US. And with that, we have a YouTube channel has millions, tens of millions of views, over 100,000 subscribers. And on there, we did a lot of cold email teardowns because we get a lot of emails and we would literally tear them down. I was like, this is why this email is so bad. I'd never reply to this so that we teach people how to act, what not to do. And then in other videos, we obviously teach them what to actually do, right? When you do outreach to other business. If you have questions about that, you can just send me an email and obviously I can help. And then the final thing, point number four, is that I would suggest that you keep what you do to yourself. Less talking, more doing. Less talking, more doing. Stop talking about what you're doing. Start doing what you want to do. Don't talk about it, do it. Don't talk about it, do it, do it. Because many times the brain, when you talk about something that you want to do or you're doing or you whatever right or you have done the brain considers that as effort it's weird the brain thinks that it's already done it because it envisioned it and it explained it so it's like okay i'm done with that don't talk don't fool your brain again i don't know why it does that you know it's one of the mysteries of life but when you talk about something the brain thinks that it's actually working on it or doing it don't talk about it just do it make it a habit to let your actions speak for themselves don't don't tell people you're building this or doing this or whatever just build it once it's done let them look at it and give you feedback right and so on and so forth whatever those are my principles again if you have any other questions on productivity i've personally managed to achieve things that people consider unimaginable in this time span that i have achieved them i became a millionaire by 25 i was poor growing up in a developing country right millionaire by 25 already made over 10 million right by my 30s so look at what you're doing on a day-by-day -day basis use these principles if you have any questions email me at robertindesh.com and I look forward to meeting you and you can leave a comment obviously like the video share subscribe all that good thank you so much and speak to you soon bye